Hello again everyone, Bob Martin with the Nautilus Dry Docks and we are going to move on to Bob's modeling tip number two. We're going to be talking about uh, highlighting miniatures. So maybe that was actually a little bit of a misnomer. What I was really talking about uh, for the topic of this tip uh, is bringing out small details in a model that often get covered up uh, by paint and you want to make sure that those are brought to light for people that are looking at it and highlight all of those wonderful details that are in there. Um, to do that I'm going to be demonstrating with some little diver figures. These are uh, Nautilus uh, divers from 20,000 leagues under the sea for an upcoming display model that I'm building and I'll see if I can get in a little bit closer there. So these have been painted um, but you can see they're kind of uh, bland a little bit washed out and a lot of the details uh, are lost and so what I want to do is um, highlight all of those details utilizing some dark paint uh, in the recesses uh, and to do that I'm going to be utilizing a couple of different things. Alright let's take a look at what we're going to be using here today. This is a Pledge Floor Care um, a wax finish for linoleum floors. Um, I love it. It actually works really, really well, particularly for this. And as a, a little bonus tip there, what you can actually use it for, uh, if you mix a little bit of printer cartridge ink, your old printer cartridge ink, uh, in with this, you can tint clear plastic parts really, really well. Uh, so you can make you know black tinted, red tinted, yellow tinted uh, lenses really easily with this stuff. Um, but what I'm going to be using it for today is to create some black low lighting uh, in my little figures and to get that black I'm going to use a little bit of this uh, you know simple kids paint uh, comes as a powder I'm going to mix it up in a Dixie cup and I'll show you how it turns out alright to get started I'm just going to put a little bit of the floor wax in the bottom of my Dixie cup seal that back up and I'm going to open up my powdered paint here grab a little bit on the end of my brush and I'm just going to mix it in and uh, I don't know if you can see that but it actually mixes really really well because obviously this uh, this paint was designed uh, to mix very quickly. I'm just going to get a little bit more in here and the test uh, in my mind to make sure you've got the right consistency is when you uh, drip on the end of your cup you should be able to see that drip um, create a, a path down there. If it's clear, um, you're not going to get that low lighting effect with your miniatures. So let's see if I can capture this on, on camera here. Here's the, um, the um, unpainted uh, or unhighlighted version. I'm just going to take this and, and really just going to kind of slather it all over the figure and what's going to happen is the black is going to fall into the recesses and it's going to highlight um, all of those areas. Let's give it a little blow and now you can see that all of the um, low areas have been highlighted. Um, all of the creases of the pants, the back of the tanks and it was as easy as that. So I'm just going to continue on here with the rest of my uh, crew. Uh, and in the meantime, I'll just tell you that the, um, the, the product, again, another reason I like it, dries really, really fast. Uh, it takes about 20 minutes um, and it dries into a gloss finish. So you're going to have one more step uh, at the end of this process and that's going to be to um, spray your figures with a uh, matte finish. So that would be the last step that you would do to really finish off uh, your characters. And this, this step too kind of muddies up the characters, makes them a little bit more um, you know realistic. So there you go everyone, Bob's tip number two, uh, highlighting figures, bringing out details uh, in your models. Bear in mind you just do not need to use uh, this technique on figures, you can use it on models, uh, anywhere you want to be highlighting some details. 
Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you like what you see, subscribe. Be sure to visit my website, nautilusdrydocks.com. Pop me an email anytime, bob at rc-sub.com. We will catch you guys next time. Thanks for joining me.